like the city red with your nigga just like an Adam Adam. Pouring up high tech, I miss the drink with a dirty snapper. I ain't meant for no bits, I put in working on four apps. What up with it, child? It's your boy 3 Light TV, aka Big 3L. You feel me? And today I'm here with K3 Pressure. You feel me? Big Pressure beat it, man. You know what the fuck going on. TPG, most bow boy, headache game. Man, listen, y'all already know we finna get into episode 2. You feel me? Y'all go tune in on the previous episode for GME shit, Mr. Fuck on the Freak. Keep running them views up, you feel me? Type shit. So look, I'm finna just go ahead and get straight into the interview. So your name is K3 Pressure, right? What that shit stand for, bro? The people been wanting to know what that shit really stand for, what it mean, you feel me? Hey, the crazy thing is, like, with the K3 situation, everybody think my name start with a K. My name did not start with a K. If you know me, know me. Yeah, know what's going on. But, shit, I got the K3 process. The K3 come from my middle name, third initial of my name. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, shit, I might well just go on do it. But this shit way before all the young boys shit. Yeah. <coughs> when he dropped that uh, K3 shit, like, I been had my, my shit was been changed to that shit. But with the process shit, I got this shit stamped. It really mean, like, really take this shit serious with the music. Anything I do, I apply press to it. Real of all them eight letters. I got this shit from uh, my boy TK. He had put me down with that shit. TK press on my mama. So she ever said then I've been press. So my next question is, um, you said motion book, right? Yeah. All right. So look, how did? Oh, and y'all, y'all got the hood too. So y'all boy tap in with them boys, man. For real, one, man. you for real. So look. How, how how did that shit even start out, man? Like, how did y'all, who really came up with it? Who you just run with? It? I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. The members came up with it, but the situation so fucking funny how it happened. But I can't even give out the situation what had happened. Just know, if you out here with no motion, man, you can't get yeah, through it. That's all I'm gonna let you know, Bucko. We have plenty of motion. Most boat boys, that's all I can tell you. Yeah, so listen, so um, let's talk about your past a little bit. So shit, where where uh you from Mississippi, Jacktown, right? Northside. Northside. For sure, for sure, for sure. So um, how 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 that shit like in Jack? Cause I know when I be talking to people, people be like, "Oh, you from Jason?" Ooh, do, 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 do. And they be like, "This shit, this shit, this shit slight." But I be telling they like. And then you just, you feel me, you got good people coming out of them type situations, but then you got people, you know, that really be dealing with this shit every day. So just, you know, give the people a little insight on how that shit really is coming up in Jason. She really, I she, I was born, no cap, I was born and clean. I stayed there to survive like what, second grade? Nah, nah, you second grade? Yeah, it was second grade because I remember when I moved. But I was always going back and forth to Jason already. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you get turned out a little bit. You know what I'm saying? You know a little shit on some, some, some. Clean and Jay's two different things. So, I fought around and my mama had her and her big friend was staying in an apartment called Layview. And she, she, they basically, we grew up, me and her, me and my mama big friend. And she, and my first time coming down there, I was like second grade. Well, first time going to school, second grade. My little brother used to tell me, he was like, man, them boys be getting to fight soon they get on the bus. So, I'm, I'm like, Damn, them boys finna be on the bull shit. Whole time, nigga went on Nathaniel, on my mama. So that shit really, from second grade on up, I was in Jackson. Shit, it, 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 that shit hard, man. It really, it really whatever you make, you know what I'm saying? You can have you a good life or a bad life. You can have, you know what I'm saying? You can be in these streets or you be out these streets. Some nigga that don't be in these streets be in these streets. But you know what I'm saying? You had better stay out the way. Another thing I learned being out here in Jackson is, shit, man, it's hard to trust people, man. I got, it's just, that back door be wide open sometimes, you know what I'm saying? That's why when you with your people, you just got to be with your people. But, you know what I'm saying? Other than that, you know what I'm saying? It is what you make it, you know what I'm saying? I went through my trial, tribulation, the poverty, all that shit, you know what I'm saying? No light, no how all that shit feel, you know what I'm saying? But that shit ain't, that shit ain't nothing. That shit really made me to I am today because I know how to get everything out the dirt and do what I need to do. You and GME, you know, y'all niggas, GME told me y'all niggas like, y'all real, real, real close and shit. Yeah, that's my dog. You feel me? So shit, he was just telling me like, he was like, we ain't grow up in the same hood type shit, but like, you feel me? Like, it wasn't too far from each other, you feel me? So tell me like, what what happened that first day when y'all met each other? 
I ain't gonna lie, like the way we met each other, the shit so crazy, man. We really met each other at Lake Haco, but if we being technical, we let each other at like Powell because we went to the same middle school together type shit. You know what I'm saying? I grew up in Lakeview. He grew up, I forgot, what the hell, uh, GME? Ghost Town. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, like, if you walk from where I walk, from where I live at and where he walked from, like, we'll fuck around, meet each other at the park, you know what I'm saying? Fuck out. But we really started getting close around, like, what? Like, really just tight, tight, because we was already locked in, but we had got, like, tight, tight around, like, eighth grade. Because uh, in the band, we used to, everybody used to be in that bit freestyle. Little one time, I went against their head by myself and my mama. Then nobody else rap my team but me. But I was going against all that. They were doing their little thing, but shit, I was doing my little shit, too. Oh, God. But shit, now, Betty G and me and that TPG, man, we so locked in. Ain't nothing bigger than this shit right now. Man. So, shit. What uh, what school, what high school you went to when you, you know, when you were coming up in school and shit? See, I went to Lanier High School, 833 Bulldog, man. Graduated from that motherfucker. I went to Clint for like 11th grade year. You know what I'm saying? I did go to that motherfucker. I ain't gonna cap to you. I went to that bit, but that ninth grade, that 10th grade, that bit really showed me what high school was because I was short as fuck, short fat motherfucker. Walked through that bit, oh God. I'm like, damn, these motherfuckers tall. But I wasn't no lame ass nigga. I had a little sauce. But my, my sauce actually came in around like 10th grade. Yeah. Um, God, I, had, I had this shit, but shit. You know what I'm saying? 10th grade, 11th grade, I went to Clint for like a year. I'm over there, bitch. They ran like Kobe. So, you know, ran like Kobe. Hit. Really school, really little blur. Because on days I started working. I had me a 9 to 5 every day. But shit, at Clint, that bitch really was sweet. But that shit really wasn't my speed. I wasn't fuck with that shit. But shit, I really, it was some things over there that I really, did, you know what I'm saying, like they hear. I ain't going to say too much. So shit, what was I finna say? Um, Oh, so, all right, we done talked about the past. We done talked about how you met GME and shit. Uh, oh, it one, it's one nigga, you feel me, that's coming up. Like on some underdog shit that I've been hearing lately, you feel me? And um, and really, you know, you did a couple features with him this day and third, and shit. Every time I heard his ass, it be on that bit, you feel me? Running that shit. So shit, I was just wondering, you feel me? How you know Playboy? Oh, <laughs> Playboy one of them certified members. It's a couple of, it ain't that many of the certified members, but I'm talking about like the member. When I say the member. It people that I grew up with, we really like, like made, like made it t- together. My mom, it's so far that we lost in the process, but the main one they know who they is. It's really, the Highland Hills group, but I, my other group that you know what I'm saying, I'm really a diverse guy. But you know what I'm saying, certain folk that I'm like this here with, some for I'm not. Playboy not gonna play at all. So take the play out his name and just add boy on that motherfucker. Cause he ain't playing, ain't doing no talking when it comes to nan with us and his vice verse for the same thing for him. And you know what I'm saying? He be getting off on all his souls, man. So when I start dropping that boy, hopefully I go get in, get into that, man. Man, so shit. Let's see. So that this that's for all you people who've been wondering, you feel me, who Playboy is, man. He he upcoming, you feel me. Hopefully, I'll be able to get an interview with you soon, Playboy. So, shit, let's talk about the music. So, um, I see you just dropped, you feel me, an album not too long ago. Probably, what, a couple months ago type shit. Um, what song you feel like? You rocking with the hardest out there, bitch. Because I know all of them bangers for sure. It's, it's even some that I even had to use, like, <laughs> for TikToks and some bullshit. You feel like shit. And if I use your shit, you hard for sure. You feel me? Not just, you know, promotion shit, but shit, you hard for sure on me. And shit, man, I really, I ain't going to count really fucking with the intro. Oh God, intro. Yeah, my intro really one of my favorite ones out of all them bitch. But I like I like that flash. I'm a superstar. They know they can't see me, John Cena. Fell in love with getting money. Made the kids want to be us. Yeah. That type of music I make, I like getting money. I don't like all that extra danger shit unless you push that button. <laughs> That's all going on. Just don't push that button, I'm getting money. Man, so shit. So you just dropped it out not too long ago. What what really made you like 
you was like, um, oh, what really caused you to make that album? Cause I ain't gonna count when you came on that album, you came with like some pressure, like your name. So shit, I'm just you know, and not just me, you know, your listeners too and the viewers, they was wondering like, you feel me? Like, what made you want to make that album? Like how you made it with the flow and everything and the beats. All that shit and the producers that you use, cause I ain't gonna care. You had some hard ass producers on that bit, you feel me? And some of the beats, like that shit, was just different. You feel me? like niggas be using beats and shit, and them bitches was like, them bitches was raw. You feel me? But like they give you like another flow, nigga. You feel me? But like yo shit, you feel me? you might hear like a little do 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 do, like you playing a little game or some shit, and then the beat comes. So what made you feel like like? You had to create your album different. For this shit, for that person, motherfucker. First, we start out with the hardest three. You know what I'm saying? That was me just beginning to get my feet wet. See, see, if you go listen to the hardest three, then listen to the press, you see two different sounds. But with the press mistake, I really was just giving my fans, you know what I'm saying, my supporters, and you know what I'm saying, the whole little motion boat crew. I was giving them, like, like some that just. Something that I ain't heard, like, okay, I had gave him a little pain, a little sauce and all that in the, in, in the uh, Hardest Three, my first mistake. But the second one, I was like, man, I just got to come. I ain't giving them music in a minute. So I was slacking, so I dropped a whole lot of old songs I had. I had to just go and give it out. But this new, like, I don't even think I'm going to pop out an album. Like, I'm finna go so hard with singles. Oh, I, would go so, I was going so hard. With this shit, I'm going so hard with singles, you know what I'm saying? I'm finna turn up, you know what I'm saying? I got new songs, new way, the whole vault finna be hard. I got futures, everything I'm coming. But with all the old music, man, I really just be like, man, go hard or go home, bro. I really want to get all my people out the trenches and shit. They really would, would motivate me to rap and anything, all my music. It really be motivate me to get my people out. That's all I be wanting to do. Yeah, yeah. So shit. Who 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 motivates you the most when it comes to like the music? Cause you know a lot of niggas be like, um, you feel me, fame, money, you know, trying to get everybody out. You feel me? GME told me, you feel me personally that you know it's it's them members, you know, them fallen soldiers, and not even just the members, it's them fallen so you know people who really loved him and fuck with him. You feel me? And pushed him. So shit, who really, you know, who your motor, your drive is when it comes to like writing and rapping and shit like that? When I be rap when I be rapping and writing, like this type of shit I be thinking about, man. I be thinking about all the hard time that we had. Like my big motivation, I say my grandma, my mama, my like all my people, like my family, my my gang especially, like the one that was there when I was like walking to work every day, like all them the whole TPG. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all them other members too that stayed down with us too. You know what I'm saying? My mama and my grandma, my grandma especially, cause she like the, she like she my rock. Like they really like my heart. Like really, like without all no care, like I do anything for that lady, man. My my mama, you know what I'm saying? We had our little, we be going through our little thing. But I love my little mom. I love my mama like. Like, want nobody to play with her. And she one of my motivators, too. My little sisters. All of them, like, I just try to motivate us, keep us going and all that. You know what I'm saying? Take all our pain. You know what I'm saying? Turn to sound. It's some songs that I got, man. I ain't released it. Cause it. It hurt me sometimes. I be rethinking living life. You know what I'm saying? So I say my big motivation is my people. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't did this shit without nobody else. If it, I can get rich tomorrow, like... If I can't do this shit for my people, get out of them, you know what I'm saying, bring them out, I wouldn't even feel satisfied. Real, real, real. So shit. So what's what's your what's your mix song or album or E P or mix that you finna drop? Or, or you or we just gonna keep that in closed curtain. I mean, I've been debating on some shit, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if I'm going to drop a little Freecher, give them a little Freecher first, or give them this single. I got a single called Clientele. They be jumping off on the unreleased side. Everybody who got that, they been replaying it. So I feel like i probably pop out with them. But I did just come up with a song called February 7th. This year I was born, man. February 7th, 2003. I'm a Aquarius. You know what I'm saying? So I'm really finna... That song really going to turn out of Aquarius, you know what I'm saying? Me especially. You did that. Yeah, about it right there. Yeah, so uh you know, it's a lot of it's a lot of hard artists in Mississippi. You feel me? like they don't get broadcasted and and shit. 
it advertised and promoted and shit. So like I told GME, I was like, shit, I was like, who with your top five artists be that you work with, you know, like on some feature shit or just an album or sing anything really, you feel me? Music video, anything. Cause I know you work with N200, shout out to that boy 200 though. For real, but yeah, we came about with me and GME get on that song. Two hundred texted, he was like, "Man, y'all want to do a song? Then I'm shoot, I'm pay for the video and the song." He just sent us a beat early in the morning. Me and GME said, "Bro, we can't disappoint." You feel we like, bro? This is the real life first chance. We finna meet Hershey Black, yeah. Hershey Black, somebody for rich gang. You know what I'm saying? We finna meet him the first time. First time me and two hundred, we grew up on that two hundred. Especially me and my gang. Especially me and Double O. Like we we grew up on that two hundred hard. So him working with us and reaching out to us, do a song that she play big, big part of my. You know what I'm saying? Big part of what I got going on. So you know what I'm saying? We forever locked in. Shout out to my boy two hundred man. The whole two hundred count. So she, you work with uh Playboy, you work with GME, you work with Two Hundred. She, who else? Um, what top five artists that you really trying to work with in Mississippi? You know, on some free shit. On some free shit, I say I wanna go with, I wanna go with my boy Fair Light. Man, don't you got shit? Big B. Uh, I really just, I really just wanna work with everybody who wanna work with me. But the people that I do wanna work with, shout out to my boy uh Leek. Lil Dre, uh, Sack Life, uh, Nico. I gotta do a song, Nico, Nico already here. Uh, Backdo, goddamn. It's some other shit I be listening to. I be listening to a lot of folks down here on God. I ain't gonna count. Scully, I gotta do a song with Sean Scully, cause he got some hard ass shit. I ain't gonna lie. But I ain't really trying to, you know what I'm saying, just get on the free side too crazy yet. But you know what I'm saying, I'm gonna do my shit myself. But the them folks, and some folks I'm missing. I know I'm missing some folks because, you know what I'm saying, I be tweaking a little bit. But if I miss your name, I want to do a song with you. I really want to work with everybody in the Jets, but it be, folks be having too much going on. But it cool, though. Yeah. So, my next question is, uh, excuse me, what was I finna say? Um, oh, we got a holiday coming up. Yeah. You feel me? Valentine's Day. Not too far from us. So... Ladies, uh, the listening ladies been wondering what you got going on for them. You got anything dropping for them on Valentine's Day? Man, I been had some shit for the lady. I just be tweaking out. I be forgetting to drop shit. I ain't gonna lie. It really be me. It be, be me by myself doing this shit, y'all. We ain't got no big home and no nothing that coming out putting no money in my pocket to do this shit. I'm doing this shit myself, me and my gang. So them folks help me. I help y'all and we help each other. But I'm going to drop y'all shit soon, though, you know what I'm saying? I got some shit for the later that I think y'all going to really fuck with. I'll probably make it longer, probably give y'all some more song. I'm going to switch over soon and start doing a lot of shit for the female, really. So, for all y'all female out there, for all y'all females out there, man, he got some shit cooking, you feel me? Real life pressure beating, you feel me? So, look, I got a question. Man, so look, man, shit, it ain't even no problem, but shit, I got a little question, man. We, we, they, they been, they been telling me about this, you feel me? And I, I'm pretty sure they been telling your ass about this shit too, bro, but who the big three? K3 motherfucking press. <laughs> I don't know what nigga thought. <laughs> yeah, we putting in a whole lot of that on my mama, like the biggest, but... Yeah, that's how we come. Man, so shit. Yeah, he, he, shit. Y'all already know, man. I ain't gonna say too much. But look, though, he the biggest three ball, and I'm the biggest. You feel me? It's just, we I just. Like <laughs> hey, but look, though. So shit, we all done talked about the female. We done talked about what you done drop. You feel me? You got any new projects you finna drop? It's real song. Uh, I probably drop that clientele next, cause everybody, them folk been feeding for that bit, you know what I'm saying? Real trap nigga been tapping in with me. So I probably drop that, that probably be next song. But I know for sure, February 7th, I'm gonna drop my birthday song, and I'm really gonna turn everybody up, all the queries and shit. I don't know nothing about nothing else. Big Aquarius, yeah. 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 So she, what was I finna say? Um, oh, and um, I got one more thing to say, bro. She, what 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 label would you sign to if it came to the table? Like, 
CMG call, yo got in them call right now, you feel me? Paper rock, even though Dolph, long little Dolph, you feel me? But shit, paper rock call, keep glocking them call. Uh, YSL, you know, free thug, free YSL type shit. Shit, any 1017, any one of them members, like, any, I mean, not member, any one of them big time record labels call you, like, who would you want to sign to? No caperoni. Whoever come with that Chuck T, I'm gone. Me and them member, my dudes, everybody. I probably go say, I don't even want to talk about it. Just know we gone soon that money come, man. So listen, all y'all record labels out there, you feel me? Looking for turn artists or shit, just a raw talent ass artist, man. Y'all hear now? Say it again. I ain't signing for nothing, look. Okay, so shit, you want, look, you want, y'all, you gotta come with it for real. So look. Oh, uh, anything you got little to say, man? Anybody you want to shout out? Anybody you know that deceased anything that you want to show love to real quick before we, you know, end this interview? Long little Dada, long little Secure, long little Bankroll, shout out, man. TPG, most bo boy, head that gang. Shout out all them, shout out Mark Blue, shout out Granny, shout out my sister, now. He standing on business the whole 2023. Nigga in the way, get ran, though, but whoa, bucko. Been to tap in real, real soon, y'all. Y'all be on the lookout. Uh, like big business, for sure. We should order so that shit should be dropping soon, man. We coming out new design, new everything, like new logo, all this shit. Yo, so y'all, y'all really be on the lookout for this shit, man. Tap in, man. Look. You feel me? I'm Big 3 Ed, K3 Pressure, you feel me? Hey, real raw talent, upcoming, and he next in the game, you feel me? And he from Jack Mississippi, so that give him a different edge to the clock, you feel me? So look, y'all tap in with his views, I'm finna put his Instagram link and his YouTube and all that other stuff down in the link below, and y'all just get him fuck with him real quick, man. Hey man, y'all go tap in with this shit. Shout out to all them men. Shout out to Snap. Shout out to my boy G Bilzer. Shout out to my boy Turbo, Playboy, Double O, Lil J. Uh, who else we got in the truck? Head, Bobby, Alki. Yeah, hold on, we ain't done. Shout out my boy K Thrizzle, TJ. Like all them men, the hands member, the screen member. Yeah. Look, man, we gone. Look, big three is K3 pressure, man. Y'all already know we.